As the season approaches its dramatic climax in London, much of the tennis over the next few weeks will be played undercover. So, just what do you need to be successful indoors? Indoor tennis can be fun. It's interesting to see the players, they have a chance to strike the ball clean and hard. I always remember the side of Agassi kind of road testing the surface and getting his grip on it, feeling that he could really strike the ball the way he wanted. The surface rewards all kinds of playing styles. Indoor tennis requires adaptations to playing style. And everyone has a different strategy. You know, it's, it's really just one-two tennis. You gotta have, you know, high first serve percentage, you know, be aggressive on the first ball. That really makes for a uh, successful, you know, tactical plan. Go to another base, you got a servo and you got a return ball. It's a level playing field. On the face of it, tennis indoors couldn't be simpler. It's the easiest tennis to play all year because there's no sun. There's no wind, there are no elements. Uh, I think it favors the servers because, you know, you don't, they don't have to deal with that stuff. They can get more cheap points. Uh, people who are a little bit, um, let's say, vulnerable emotionally can play better indoors because there's just less things to worry about. You know, I'm always looking to dictate with my forehand. Um, so I think indoors, it gives me that opportunity when a ball's sitting, it, it's, it's really up to me. There's no wind that's going to blow it away. Just get, get into position and hit your shot. It's a, a small confine, so you can, uh, you know, you really feel like your serve takes uh, uh, to these courts pretty well. Um, you know, and, and playing aggressive tennis helps indoors. Um, you know, and then you don't have to worry about any of the variables. You don't have to worry about the wind or the sun or the rain or anything like that. So you, you kind of know uh, what you're going to get out here. And uh, um, you know, I, lo I love playing indoors. It's ten years since Roger Federer won his first title, and that was indoors. Uh, just the story, the first title of Federer was uh, in Milan against, against me. The courts w were really, really fast and you had to play seven volley everything. Now, for the new generation, it's really, really difficult because courts are slower compared to 10 years, 15 years ago. I serve pretty good, uh, I return very good, so yeah, I think, uh, I think it's a uh, choose to my game and uh, you know, I'm always I played good in, in indoors. I won some tournaments too in indoors, so yeah. Novak Djokovic, Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray and Roger Federer have already booked their places at the season-ending Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London this November. With only four places up for grabs, this year's indoor season will be crucial. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, action from the China Open in Beijing and the Rakuten Japan Open Tennis Championships in Tokyo. And it's a family affair. Following in the footsteps of German lefty Misha, we meet the latest in the Zverev tennis dynasty, brother Sasha. Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and find us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll see you next week.